Hello, everybody. And um, let's update you on what we've been doing and how far we've gone with our digital transformation initiative. Now, um, earlier this, um, it was November last year, actually. Yes. No, no, what are we talking about? It was August last year when we started looking into digital transformation, when we started looking at the digital capabilities available to us to enhance every area of the business. One of the key things we were looking to do was to drive down operational cost, uh, put ourselves in a position where we can operate on a global scale, um, improve customer retention, customer acquisition, and be a lot more customer-centric. That was very much the focus of what we were trying to achieve. Um, in order to do this, we had to digitize and automate every area of the business. So how far have we gone? And, and, and what has been the result in terms of sales, in terms of efficiency, in terms of um, operational excellence, in terms of um, improving our overall business model and improving the overall customer experience? What's been the results? And that's something that I want to discuss with you today. Now, as you all know, we provide work experience, practical work experience in project management and business analysis. Uh, but we have been able to shift dramatically building people's experience within the digital spectrum. But not just the digital spectrum, but looking at the third platform technology, which is mobility, which is um, cloud uh, computing. Uh, you have, it always goes off my head, uh, social business. And then the last one, which is, okay, if I, re if I rehearse it, it will come. So um, cloud computing, social, mobility, big data, analytics. So those four things. And then the one I always like to add, which wasn't added by IDC, cyber security. Okay. And now as a business, we're now moving towards AI, artificial intelligence, creating bots. We're now moving towards predictive analysis. And data is now becoming the lifeblood of our business. But more importantly, the intelligence behind that data is beginning to help us to realize more opportunities and how we can better meet the needs of our customers. So what does this actually mean? Well, come, come around, come have a look at this. So um, one of the things that we did, um, one of the things that we actually did before I go onto the computer, one of the things that we actually did was the first thing we had to do in order for us to expand, we had to drive down operational costs because we needed a way to make sure that, because we needed a way to make sure that that operational, um, in, for us to drive that operational cost, it is absolutely critical for us to realize areas where we have waste and areas where we could automate and get rid of the manual way of doing things. That now enabled us to focus our resources and energy and uh, on expanding, which is what we have been able to successfully do. So one of the things we recently started doing was playing around with um, our data, kind of gain insights, gain insights from our data. And I want to show you something. Come on, have a look at this. Okay, hopefully I can um, do this and just uh, do that. Okay, so where is it? So that's the user's data. So we had to extract all of our data, every single thing that we have up on the company. And um, we had to just grab as much as we could. Then the next thing we had to do was to visualize that data. So if you come over here, you can now see that we had to then visualize the data in the company. Now this is a tool called Tableau. It's, a, it's an amazing data analytics and visual um, data visualiz visualization tool. And what I decided to do was to give us an idea of where our customer base is. So you can see that in UK, we have 7,184 7, customers. In Nigeria, we have uh, 3,000 um, 302 customers and then over here in the United States we have 86 customers so you can see that we're beginning to expand all over the world okay and that's something we didn't discover we didn't know until we're able to visualize the data so that's one good big thing for us another thing which helped us a great deal was very much if I can just play around with the sheets a bit and start showing you a few other things um, I believe this is it nope it's not that one this is when we actually started playing around with Tableau and then we then have, oh, there we go, it'll be sheet seven. Okay, so we now start playing around with subscription days. So for example, when people's subscriptions are running out and the um, sales opportunities are available to us to actually sell to them. So this is where data is now informing us as a business. And as a result of all of this information, it, is put, it has put us in a situation where we're even able to understand exactly what's going on in the business and how people view the business. Now, let me show you something else that's really cool, if you don't mind. Um, you might want to use your two hands so it doesn't shake. Okay, and then just move back a bit. Okay, so if I can just do this. Um, 
So I've got someone helping me um, man the camera. Okay, and I just want to take you to Google Analytics. So Google Analytics over here. One thing that's really, really good that we've realized is using... Now, one thing that's really cool. No, I'll just grab this. I'll show them myself. All right, so now if you look over here, um, this is Google Analytics, for example. And one thing that... And I mentioned earlier that data is so critical. All right? And when it comes to digital marketing, analytics is key to business. It's, it's, it's basically... Especially if you have a web presence. Now, one of the things we've seen right now is that... Oh, our returning customers is pretty consistent. We have 75% returning customers, 25% new customers. So that means that we have more people staying on the site, happy to continue to use the platform compared to the new visitors. So basically, you kind of have new customers turning into returning customers, which is excellent. But one of the things we wanted to do was to also improve our conversion rate. So I think I mentioned, if I mentioned to you before, we created a landing page. That landing page needed to be tracked. Events needed to be put on the landing page. We had to improve the landing page and also improve the conversion rate, with them, which we were able to track through analytics. And I believe I had analytics here just now. Okay, so I could actually come over here to the, um, I can come over here to the uh, conversions and, um, oh, come on. Okay, so I can come over here to conversions and on the conversions, I can look at the goals and I look at funnel visualization. And we used to have roughly 2%, 3% conversion rate. That has dramatically changed. And if, if I can do that from maybe the 20th all the way here, where we actually started um, implementing it, I would see that conversion rate is now, uh, spare me a second. And I can show that to you. So we're able to track everything that we're doing in the company all the way down to when they actually sign up. And you can see that we now have a 12.66 conversion rate. Now, what does what does 12.66 conversion rate mean? And what impact does it have on the business? Now, this is why it's so important to understand digital. It's so important to understand digital marketing capabilities and your um, digital transformation capabilities and understand how we can enhance every area of your business. This is work experience that is required for you to compete in the digital age that we're living in today because businesses are using data to make an informed decision and you need to understand the analytical tools um, that are available to you and you also need to understand the data. So imagine something like this turning into something like this to give you an idea of what's going on in your business to give you an idea of exactly the opportunities available to you but even better imagine something like this helping you to increase your conversion rate so that on your salesforce crm so let's go to our crm over here we can see that for may we now have 109 people starting which is not that bad at all so let's compare that to a few other months Okay, so if we look at April, so you had, what, 73? Okay, so let's go back to March. If I can find March. Yep, you had 54. So you can see that the transformation initiative is now not only <laughs> improving your overall um, um, business activities, but it's beginning to generate more revenue. And also, you might be even say that, I guess, customers are a lot much happier as a result, the business is growing, but we need data to back that up. You see, we're now in the age where we can't make any assumptions. We have to actually have the data to back things up. But where are we going next? What are we doing next? What's important to us? Now, let me give you an example of how data is now defining requirements. Um, as a BA, it's so important for you to understand uh, what data is, the benefits of data, and how to visualize that data. So let me quickly just do this for you. So you can see now we know we can see that um, we have a bunch. We have um, UK has the biggest customer base. Uh, why Nigeria has the uh, second largest customer base. And then we can see that United States is beginning to grow. But you know what? If I click on this, I can't really get more than that. What states? United States is massive. So what states has is it? Is it one state that has all 86? Or is it spread across a number of states? So we're beginning to realize that we now need to build a feature on the eWork Experience platform. So if I come over here, so we now need to build a feature on the eWork Experience platform. And I can just go back to the homepage quickly. Whereby, if when I sign up 
um, maybe the best way to show you this is here. So when I sign up, instead of asking for my location, it will use geolocation to actually get your longitude and latitude and pinpoint exactly where you are. Now, what's the need for that? Well, as a business, we want to be able to know where the opportunities are and where and exactly the locations we need to be targeting. So you can now see how data is informing your next business um, objectives, which is now defining the next technical requirements that, um, that um, technical things that you're going to be um, implementing in your business, which is pretty awesome. And that's just a small minor part of what we're doing. One of the other areas for us that's very important is market automation. Now, we're doing market automation to an extent, but I want full marketing automation. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, 109 people are starting. We would like certain things to automatically be sent to them. We would like the whole sales automation process and market automation process to be automated, <laughs> more or less, you know? And why? So that we have less people doing it and it's a lot more effective. And that puts us in a position where we're driving our operational costs and puts us in a better position where we're also able to focus on being a lot more customer centric, which is awesome. So I'm just going to give the camera back to him so he can probably face me. Okay, so that said, what does this mean? Um, if you have been looking at the job boards out there, if you have been applying for work as a project management or business analyst, uh, analysis professional, you will realize that these roles are now becoming a lot more specific. They're looking for people with industry knowledge and product knowledge. More importantly, they're looking for people with data, data expertise. Now, why? I just showed you just now how I'm using it in my small business to grow the business and to expand. So if I, a small little <laughs> thing <laughs> out uh, among the massive corporations out there is using it, then what about the others? And this is why when you look at our success stories these days, people are getting jobs as digital business analysts, digital project managers, product owners, business um, di uh, digital solutions architects. So you want to build your digital skills. I, I can't express this anything more than, I, uh, than I'm doing right now. And if you don't believe me, go on JobServe. Just search and see for yourself. And if you're already in the job market and your contract is about to end, don't be shocked if you have no digital skills that you might find yourself literally unemployed for quite a long time. And if you have the digital skills, then well done to you. If you don't, you need to join us this Saturday. Why do you need to join us at our London office? Because it's going to be a full day training and we're teaching everyone what they need to become equipped and experience to be digital project managers or digital business analysts or data analysts or data scientists. The beauty is you can come, discover, develop yourself and we we'll deploy you out there. And one of the things we're doing now is working directly with recruiters. Why? Because the very people, few people that are skilled out there. And since there are very few people that are skilled out there, it is to our benefit and also to your benefit and also to the benefit of the employers to give them the best people we've trained who are also experienced and the good thing is you're going to be working on these projects you're going to be working on everything that we're doing to grow our business so there's no make-believe project in some place where you will just be going on and going on and repeating the same thing over and over again we're going to face real issues we're going to face real challenges we're going to find problems to real we're going to find solutions to real problems and even better we're going to do a lot of research and understand the capabilities that are available to us out there and how technology can, um, can be a business enabler and help businesses grow. So you will be seen as an industry expert. You will be seen as the go-to guy and hopefully as a thought leader in the market. So once again, Saturday, this Saturday, 11 a.m., London office or online. If you can't make it to London office, you can call in online. And if you can make it to London office, we'll see you there. What do you need to do? www.careerinsights.tv and click on start my seven-day free trial and you will get the webinar link or just show up on Saturday. And in the meantime, I want to say God bless you. Take care and uh, we'll catch up later.